Hello everyone, and welcome back to Endling. Extinction is forever. And we are here with our mother fox as she has still got her three cubs with her. And we have come back after searching for our lost fourth cub and trying to find enough food to keep these three taken care of to rest for another day. And tonight we are going to try to wake up, find a little bit of food, and then follow the trail that has been left behind of hints of where our fourth cub may have been kidnapped off to. So far, looking around the area has been really instructive. It seems that it is definitely the end of the world in some regards. There's only a few humans around, and they seem to be struggling for survival themselves. But what that has to do with our cub, I have yet to find out. So, let's go ahead and wake up, and we're going to start sneaking through the night. And trying to find what we can. Alright, come on you three. Looks like we've got some information about our cub waiting to be found. But is there any food? I really feel like I need to feed these three before we go any further, but it is a little hard to find food. Let's check if that berry bush that we found is actually available. Oh, look at how small and cute they are. Come on. Come on, little ones. I'm really hoping we'll be able to find something to feed them before we go ahead and we begin. Is there anything this way? Oh, I really don't think there, there's any food over here, unfortunately. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's definitely the berries, so we at least have the berries that we can come and get. All right. And then I'll come and snag this really quickly. All right, there you go, little ones. Eat up. Oh, they're so small! How am I going to keep them alive in this kind of, like, extremely demanding world? And I'm so amazed, you guys, because as we have noted before, this is just the demo. Alright, and I need to go ahead and jump over that. Good. This is just the demo of what this world has to offer. Alright, Care Corp. For a better tomorrow. Is there anything else? It looks like some electricity is still working in some places. And I know that this is kind of a risk to go this far with our cubs, but I wanted to see if there was any kind of food that I could possibly stumble on. There's so many traps put out, and I can't help but wonder who put them down. Oh wow, look, there's definitely a lot of people out. I wonder, are those people next to our house now? Oh, 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 oh good, we found a little bit more food. Alright, over here, you three. Oh, they're so cute. I really hope we can do everything we can to keep them alive and, and well. Is that all the food we can gather for now? I think it is. I wanted to try to climb up there, but I don't think I can. Alright, well, I don't want to wear them out, so we're not going to run too fast. But is it just me, or does that like look like our den back there? And it looks like there's a couple people like poking around it. I hope that the snow isn't giving away our footprints. And I guess the only place to go now is to go ahead and follow the clue that we have in the scent of our other cub. But again, friends, I am already deeply in love and immersed in this world and deeply impressed because this is, once again, just a demo, a work in progress for what the eventual story might become. Careful, little ones. Oh, good, they do go around it. And so this is just a taste of the world, but I'm completely enchanted and will be eagerly awaiting the full release of Endling when it does come. Because this is just so much more than I was expecting. Alright, come on you three. There we are. Let's pop up. And then just to be careful, so Care Corp, huh? Yeah, it looks like that's where we're headed. And I don't think there's any other food about. And we did help to rescue that badger. So he actually got caught in a trap as well. But that means I think he's he's run away from the area. We stole his fish, which... Oh, wait, wait. Is that him again? It is him again! Oh, oh look, and there's like a hawk right there. Oh, boy. Alright, well at least we set him free. 
But what are we gonna do about the fact that there's like a hawk right over here? Okay, we don't, oh, we don't wanna wake up the owl. <gasps> you guys, there's an owl right here. He might wake our cubs, he might, he would definitely wanna eat our cubs. What? So that's what we have to do to go ahead and try to get away from the owl. All right, well, crouching down. Good to know we can just go ahead and like crouch to not get caught by the owl, but... Oh, oh, there's food this way. Come on. And this is also where the trail is taking us, so I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. Oh no, come on, can you, come on, you two. I think they were so busy playing. Look at their cute little spots. All right, this is where the human came and he brought our cub. And I wonder if he did something that made that piece knock down. Oh, look, here's the clue. He broke in. I wonder what that means. I wonder if anyone can see us or if this place is just abandoned. Oh my gosh, is that a truck? I don't think this place is as abandoned as I thought. What is going on? All right, what do we have here? What? And he has a gun that he used to destroy the little sentry robot? Oh, I'm so confused. Does that mean he, does that mean he like raided this area? Is he in that truck? Okay, apparently there's like a house over there. Is that a dog? Oh, <gasps> you guys. How are we gonna get past this dog? How does that work? There's a human there too! How could we possibly get past these, these, this group? Can he see us? <gasps> oh no! Oh no! What the heck? So how am I- what? But how am I supposed to get past him then? What? No way! But Mama Fox- that was terrifying! Oh my gosh, look, it reloaded to like that night! But what am I supposed to do then? We followed the scent marks. Am I supposed to like run the opposite way? Maybe I waited too long. Maybe because it was morning almost, that's why he was there. So maybe this time, we learned how to crouch to like avoid the owl. So I wonder if maybe we go earlier in the night, if that will help us out. So we can try to make it, because it, it noted that there was like a new den for us, but it was surrounded by humans. Why would I want to go in there? Like, why would I want to go in there? Okay, the badger's stuck again. <gasps> maybe the badger can come and help us. Maybe I'm supposed to follow him. Maybe that will show us the way that we're supposed to go. The owl is gone now. The badger's kind of like yelling his thanks, I think. What if I want to follow him? Okay, let's try going up this path. I've not tried this yet. I don't think I immediately smell any food. Oh, but look, 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 there is some food over here. I just have to be careful of this thing. All right, let's jump over. I can't believe how spooky that was, you guys. That dog is like vicious and huge. Do I only have two cubs? Where's my third cub? Why do I only have two cubs? Where's my third cub? We had three cubs with us, right? My third cub? He's way over here. Little one, what are you doing? You scared me. I couldn't find you. Oh my gosh. There has to be a way to get around that dog. There has to be. So let's see if we can find it. I guess, man, I, I guess you really can die. Like, you really have to watch out. Okay, the cubs go around the trap. Good. You really have to watch out so that you don't end up just, like, losing your life to the traps. And I wonder if the owls would end up taking your cubs. That would be terrible. That would be absolutely terrible. Oh, boy. Okay, well, that happened. 
But maybe this is a good thing? I still don't smell anything. But maybe this will actually take us around. This is a huge loop, actually. And there, why are there so many lookout towers that have been built for the humans? Oh, that makes me kind of nervous. Why do the humans need the lookout towers? Alright, here's some more fruit. Thank goodness foxes are omnivores. A little bit. They, they do eat fruit and berries and trash and things they can find. Let's see, do I... S I don't smell anything dangerous, I don't think. Oh, what's this? R, huh? Oh, one of my pups! Oh my gosh, one of my pups is digging into something! What did you find, little one? Oh, he found some food! He dug up a little berry! And then what about this? So, Oh, he dug up a little worm! You can teach your pups to dig up little worms! Oh my goodness! I mean, that's interesting. And then it looks like this is the end of the line right here. So we found some grubs. I wonder if you can get this open somehow, this grate. So that that way we could actually go ahead and sneak into there without getting completely destroyed. But if that's not the case, does it make the cubs tired to run like this? I wonder. Alright, there's a spot we can we can go down here. Where does this take us? Oh, there is actually- oh, there's a bunny! There's a bunny, you guys! Alright, let's come over. And I need to see if I can hunt this rabbit, because that would definitely feed my babies. There we go. Alright. Oh, and I can put them in the bushes to eat. Yes! Okay, so the babies are fed now, which is great. Apparently there's more food behind us again. And there's an owl. Okay, so we're really wandering around. I wonder if we need to go home soon. But I'm just trying so hard to figure out how to get to the scent. Come on, you three. Don't wake the owl. Oh, look, and there's another spot where I could have the pups dig if I needed to. Oh, that's so useful. And where does this loop us around to? I don't think I'm going towards the spot that I wanted to be. With the scent. But this world is a lot bigger than I was expecting. And I think it kind of circles around itself several times. Wait, what's this? Oh, look, there's an egg! There's actually an owl egg up there that we could knock down if we needed to for food. Okay, that's useful to know. Wow. This is a much bigger place than I was expecting. But now we need to go ahead and find our way home. And I think home is actually this way. We're somewhat lost. Is this way home? Because I'm not exactly sure what might happen. Where is home? I think home's over here. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what might happen. Uh oh. Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh my gosh! Oh, am I hurt? Oh no! Oh no! I wasn't paying attention! Oh, I stepped in a trap too! Oh my gosh! So now the humans are out, and if the humans are out... Oh, Mama Fox, hang in there! I'm trying to remember how to get home! Is home over here? Okay, yeah, home's this way. Oh, she's limping badly now. Oh, dear. Oh, my gosh. So the humans do run around and you do have to, like, fight them off when they try to catch you. I'm glad he didn't try to snatch one of our babies. Are we almost back? All right. Well, on the one hand, I'm glad we were able to find there's a huge area we can wander through. Uh oh, there's another person. All right, come on. There's two people. Are they? Oh no, how are we going to get back into our den, you guys? No wonder we're supposed to only come out at night. This is so much more dangerous. Oh boy. 
Well, all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. We're going to see if we can get our Mama Fox back into the facility next time. It might be that we're stuck until we can manage to go further in with the full release of the game, but we'll definitely give it one more adventure after this to see if we can make any more progress. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for our Mother Fox, and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends... Stay curious, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye! Alright, hello everyone. So a quick little addendum to the end of our episode. I have just spent quite a while exploring the rest of the map that is currently available, trying to get past that dog, experimenting and poking, and it actually does turn out, friends, that that was the current ending. You cannot get past the dog just yet because we basically were introduced to like what I would call the first chapter or the preview chapter of the game. And it will occur when the actual game is released that we can get past that dog. So yes, we did see the ending of the demo and I have to say I am so utterly in love and enchanted. The art style in particular is so beautiful that it pulls me very deeply and strongly into the game and I look forward so much to seeing the full release. So thank you guys for joining me on this adventure. Definitely give your support to the creator, adding it to your Steam wish list. They have a Discord you can jump into to share feedback. I'm so in love and I can't wait to see where these little ones go when the full game releases. Until then, friends, we need to be patient and wait. It is a lot of work to create a new game. And if you guys are interested in exploring some more stories, I would love to see your suggestions down in the comments. Demos of games or new games that I have perhaps not seen pop up since there are so very many of them lately. Let me know down in the comments and we will add up a whole bunch of new things to try out. Just. I'm ready. I'm ready for all sorts of new adventures, and I'm really ready to go on this adventure again when it becomes available. But until then, friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!